Before starting today's video, I wanted to make a quick announcement. First off, can we please talk about the quality improvement of my videos since the first one that I post and this one? I mean, Jesus take the wheel. Special thanks to my brother because he lent me his camera. Thank you very much, Carlos, in case you're watching this. If not, well, thank you anyways. You know I love you. Second off, the reason why I haven't been an, as active as I would have wanted to in either my social media platforms or either YouTube is this. First off, I've been kind of busy with the apartment and the job hunting since I'm moving at the end of the summer to Montreal. The second thing is that last Wednesday I had laser surgery. In fact, let's talk about dates because, you know, I don't know when I'm actually gonna post this and you might be like, last Wednesday, girl, that's been a while. No, no, no. Uh, when I'm talking last Wednesday, I'm talking about Wednesday, May the 9th. So, since May the 9th, I haven't been able to really see or really do anything on the internet or on my phone or anything else. Some of us, you might be saying, uh, okay girl, so you knew that you were not going to be able to take care of your YouTube channel and your social media platform. You should have made something about it. But here's the thing, I prepared a video that I wanted to post on Wednesday morning. I even had footage for the video that I wanted to do after my surgery. But once I started to edit everything, I kind of realized that the footage was a library. And well, I was like, oh no, there is no way that I can post this. And yeah, it's not that I didn't try to fix the footage because I did try. So however, that's what happened and that's why I haven't posted videos in a while and I'm really sorry and that's why I'm wearing sunglasses right now. It's just because my eyes kind of need to have some rest. So however, I know that for today, this title, you might be like, what does she mean by that? And here's the thing, as I say, I'm moving to Montreal at the end of the summer, I'm going to the big city, I'm super excited, I'm like, woo! New school, new adventures, new city, I really feel like we shouldn't do something new about our life. And that actually explains the outfit, because you should be like, what the hell is she wearing? So here's the thing, uh, my mom and I, we always talk. And the main complaint that she has about me is that I don't clean my room enough because every time I go there, everything seems messy. And the thing is not that my room is messy. The thing with my room is that I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of books, I have a lot of clothes, I have a lot of everything. My mom is like, well, you should do something about it. In that case, if you do have a lot of stuff for that small room that you have, you should throw away everything that is not useful anymore. And, uh, when I came to think about it, I was like, she's right, because at the end of the day, what good does it make to me to keep things that don't actually serve to me anymore? I do still have photos of people that I don't talk to anymore, or that I don't hang out with anymore, or that I don't even like anymore. I do still have old diaries that I don't really use anymore, or... I do still keep ha having letters from my ex-best friends, from my best friend. I do even still have letters from my ex-boyfriend. Now, by getting rid of those doesn't mean that I don't have any feelings remaining for these people or that they don't mean anything to me anymore because that's not the case. It's just because I need to get rid of everything that is just holding me back because at the end of the day, what are you going to do if you're still remaining on pause? So now, however, now that we still have our energy, we're all energized, all positive and everything, we're going to clean up this mess, even though I still think it's not a mess. So however, let's dive in. So right now, what we're going to start with is going to be just the regular stuff. Magazines, all school, work, you know, just regular stuff. I do know that I already separated some of my clothes, uh, I think it was quite a while ago, but uh, I have to double check. Sometimes you do find stuff that you kind of want to still want to wear, but not really. And also sometimes you do find some stuff that actually you don't want to wear anymore and that you let in your room actual wardrobe. I'm gonna try to separate everything in different categories. I'm gonna try to separate everything as quick as I can. I don't want to spend the rest of the day doing this. We'll see how it goes. So I do have a lot of fashion magazines because my teacher asked us to look for publicities and to translate them. I did keep the magazines anyway because well I'm a fashion junkie or at least I 
I like to talk about it and I like to inform myself about it even though if you know my clothing right now is not actually how it is wearing and by the way yes now I'm not wearing my glasses and no I'm not wearing any makeup that is the reason that explains why I didn't film a video that I had super blurry it was only because I can't wear any makeup right now other than you know lipstick moving on I do have this poster if I'm not mistaken it was one of my best friends that gave this to me so I do want to keep this because well it is kind of a decoration you know? I mean, I liked it even though it did it does look a little bit morbid okay you guys so um so far I've just kind of cleaned my desk I kind of don't want to show you yet because it's really messy still so far I am pretty pretty shocked I mean all of this is just paper well schoolwork I just finished my degree and I'm like schoolwork who needs that I don't want to keep my grammar exams I don't want to keep anything that made me cry so so far I have this bag that as I said is full of schoolwork there is my glass of water hey and also there is my bookshelf that I in fact I just had in their diaries and that sort of stuff I have artwork right there, books, more diaries, schoolwork, their yearbook that I'm not sure if I'm going to throw out or not. The issue is real when you are someone who loves to read and also make up. Yep, and when you have a really pretty limited space. We do have a bookshelf. It is pretty tiny, but I mean it's pretty full too. I mean there are even books in there. And also in here, but uh, actually those are dictionaries. Translator struggles. They need a bunch of dictionaries to do one single piece of work. Oh my god, you guys. I've been working on this since 3 p.m. probably. I destroyed a lot of stuff, but most of it is schoolwork. However, I did found stuff that I was really, really excited about. For instance, uh, well, this that I used to paint on it, but I really didn't do it and I found that I have stuff that I haven't finished so I'm, I'm just gonna give it a try and try to do it again but I'm not gonna throw it away because sometimes you have to keep working on stuff rather in order to discover your own passions. I did decide to keep my yearbook even though I did not really like the people that I went to school with then again no tea no shade these people never bullied me or anything they were just not the type of people that I really liked that's it and I'm sorry if they all get offended honestly people in that school you have to admit it were <laughs> they was bullying all over the place everyone was believing that they were better than anybody else however um there are I did meet some good people in there and I'm not saying that I did hate everybody I did like probably the 20 or 10 percent of the school population yesterday i wasn't able to finish my room but today we'll get into the dresser which i don't know how long is it gonna take you know uh we always girls have to say that we have nothing to wear and now here i am cleaning up my closet and that's just the second drawer and I already fulfilled two bags of clothes that I'm getting rid of the worst part of all this is that I'm gonna keep saying I, I have nothing else to wear I decided to take a break just like a five or ten minute break I called my friend Miranda so she can come over and pick some things up I realized while I was cleaning that I had this which I mean is really good when you have contact lenses but since I don't wear any glasses anymore I don't really need it and I took the time to check up some mail I also was watching well watching I, in fact, I was just hearing my friend Amelie's blog post that I haven't had a chance to catch up on on YouTube. Since, you know, I couldn't watch anything so far during the day or during the week, 
I kind of been procrastinating on my YouTube catch-ups. So however, I'm gonna link her channel down below so you guys can take a sneak peek on her channel. However, uh, so far so good. I already packed two bags, but I realized that I do have a third one prepared and that it was huge. So I might just throw one of the contents of the bags just in the huge bag so I can have just one or no too many bags that I can give to Cherry. I already got rid of accessories or just regular clothes. I think I'm gonna get rid of some bags because I do have a lot of them and I don't really like them anymore. I'm gonna look if I do have shoes. I even gonna go through all my nail polish. As I said, I do have a lot of bags and some of them I don't really like them anymore so I'm just gonna get rid of those too. <sighs> what a lot of memories and now if my mom could actually say that my room is actually looking messy. This is really a experience. Well, you guys, I am not done yet, for per se, but now I am at the part of my room when I have to clean up the boxes. Most of them are fulfilled with shoes. I got rid of the bags that I didn't like anymore, and also some of the hats and some of the accessories. That bag is filled with bags <laughs> that I'm gonna give away. The huge bag is all filled with shoe boxes that I'm gonna get rid of as well. And this one are the bags that I'm actually keeping, but uh, that are not well, quite fulfilled yet. This bag right here, the green one, is fulfilled with sport clothes that I'm actually keeping. And those, well, were, are just regular bags. I finished up filming almost everything, or at least cleaning everything out. It went super well. I did get rid of, I think, three or four pair of shoes. There is, well, pants because I don't have any place to put them. I think I thought that thing I'm gonna just toss it out. It's not finished yet. I said I was going to film when I was going to go throughout my nail polish, which is what we're gonna work on right now. My friend Miranda is here, but I'm not gonna film her because I don't think that she's gonna be happy about it. <laughs> but she went, she came over to pick up some stuff that I prepared to give her. We're gonna go through the nail polish uh, that, as you might see, I do have a quite a huge collection. I'm not gonna wear those colors, so I'm gonna ask her if she wants some of them. Once I know that she wants some of them, I'm gonna place the rest uh, in right in here and I will give it to Cherry. Okay you guys, so I did film everything that I did not want anymore. So far, all the nail polish that I'm gonna give away are these ones and the one that Miranda is holding in her hand. I am keeping all of the ones that are right in here. And as you might see, uh, they're all burgundy colors, dark colors, not orange, browns, blacks. So now, finally, I'm just gonna go through all my books just to see if there is anything else that I have to get rid of or not really. I'm not sure that I'm gonna get rid of anything in that side. It's worth a shot to just lock it up. So I cleaned up my small library. As you may see or you might not, uh, there are books in the back too. So now it's all super fulfilled and as you saw yesterday in my desk there were a lot of books as well. All of that is just books that I do have to read or that I already have read and the dictionaries, high dictionaries. The only book that I realized that I still have and that I have to get rid of is this one right here that uh, nobody really liked at my class. I still cannot remember everyone saying this book was really really f***y and it, I'm sorry Maria Lempoitras but it kind of is. Sorry, sorry girl. The story makes no sense, it's really boring to read. The only good thing about it though is, I will say the vocabulary that she used. But besides that, I really don't know. In order to conclude uh, the giving away part, I'm going to go throughout the different scarves that I've been uh, not buying exactly. Some of them I did them myself, some of them uh, were gifts, but I'm just, go or some of them I did bought them. But you know, I'm just gonna go throw those two. I do have a lot and I know that I'm not wearing them all 
So those two are going to be giveaways to charity. I know that those three, I do want to keep them. I do like them. Miranda just left and well, we'll be working on that till I don't know when. So I just completed the whole cleanup of my room. Before I actually show you a sneak peek out of it, it did it not really change a lot. It's just uh, really that I got rid of a lot of stuff. So however, I did wanted to show you a sneak peek of everything that I am going to dust out since I already have it all in bunches. All of the uh, different clothing and accessories and shoes are going to cherry. I know that some people might actually enjoy. Well, on, the, on this side we do have, uh, probably not this because you know, this is the... <laughs> the top of the camera and we don't want to throw that away uh, we have three shoe boxes that are empty we do have one, two uh, we have a story right there that I'm actually gonna burn just a really paranoid person so we have one, two, three, four, five different bags that are fulfilled with puppetry and boxes and other kind of stuff that is already been tossed away and that is going straight out of the crazy clean. I'm getting rid of that and I'm giving away uh, five boxes. Uh, I'm actually no, I'm going to give those two away. Uh, this is fulfilled with uh, all kind of pencils and pens. Those rulers too. Some kids might need it. Some of them do need school supplies. This one too is fulfilled with school supplies. It does have a calculator on it and it does have compasses and different geometry stuff. Well, education is important. My mom ended up keeping up some dresses and blouses, but I mean, that's okay. We still have a lot of stuff to give away to Cherry. I kind of realized that I kind of forgot to sing off the block, so I just wanted to wrap everything up and to tell you what was going on. I promised that I was going to give you a room tour once it was all completed. It's been like a month since I did start filming. Maybe my room looks a little bit messy right now, so I kind of apologize for it. I was pretty happy because I got rid of everything that I didn't need or wanted to. I was happy when I gave everything back to Terry. I just feel good with my own soul. Not with myself, but with my soul. And I think that part is important too. I think I'm gonna close everything here. But before doing that, if you want to see more content like this, please let me comment down below telling me what kind of vlog do you want to see next or if you're trying to move on from what? What is motivating you or keeping you from moving on? Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!